Foot and ankle problems are common presentations to the general practitioner. I'm just going to list the most common presentations of foot and ankle pathology, starting at the front of the foot, working our way more proximally. Hallux valgus, that's deformity of the big toe with a bunion on the side, is very common. Can occur in men, but more commonly in women. Arthritis of the big toe, the first MTP joint, causing stiffness, otherwise known as hallux rigidus, with tenderness over the dorsum of the first MTP joint. Common problem is forefoot pain on the undersurface of the foot over the metatarsal heads. This is known as metatarsalgia. And neuromas, or swellings of the nerve between the metatarsal heads, known as a Morton's neuroma. Can also have clawing of the toes caused by arthritis and ligamentous problems of the toes. And you can get hammer toe and claw toe deformities. Moving up the foot, you can get arthritis within the midfoot joints, which are known as the tarsometatarsal joints. And also commonly, you get arthritis between the head of the talus and the navicular, just here, called the talar navicular joint. It is also possible to get arthritis of the ankle joint, especially after trauma, leading on to arthritis. And this is the joint between the tibia and the talus. And on the undersurface of the foot at the back, where the plantar fascia inserts into the calcaneal tubercle, you can get plantar fasciitis. On the outside of the ankle, you can get ligamentous problems caused by disruption of the lateral ligaments of the ankle. These include the anterior talar fibula ligament, the calcaneal fibula ligament, and the posterior talar fibula ligament that lies here. And on the inside of the hind foot, problems with the tibialis posterior tendon, with it being inflamed, pinched, or even ruptured causing a valgus hind foot and collapse of the arch of the foot. And at the back of the foot, tenderness just behind the Achilles tendon, retrocalconeal bursitis, and problems of the Achilles tendon itself, Achilles tendinosis. These are the common problems in the foot. It's important to take a history and ask the patients where they feel the pain and if they have instability. And with a thorough examination, it's possible to make the appropriate diagnosis. If you please click on the foot and ankle examination video, I think this will help you. Thank you.